The hadith which Hafiz al Munzri has related in Darghi with Tarheeb on the authority of Wani ibn Hushim comes to mind. He says, I went to a tribe, there was a tomb near this tribe, and after Asr, this grave opened. And he says, A man came out of this grave. His head was that of a donkey, and his body was that of a human being. He came out of the grave, he he hoed three times like a donkey. Three times he he hoed like a donkey, and after this he went back inside the grave, and the grave closed. He says, I asked the locals with regards to this individual, as to who he was and why Allah was punishing him in this manner. So he says that the locals informed me that this young individual, he would take alcohol, he would drink, he had the habit of drinking. And when he would drink too much and he would return home in the evening to his mother, just as our mothers do, you know when we're out and having a good night out, haven't told our mothers, our mothers are sleepless, they're not even sleeping, they're waiting us for inside their homes, you know, uh, fearing uh, with regards to our well-being, are we okay, where are we? They're waiting there, my friends, his mother would do the same. When he would return and she would see him intoxicated, to save him from Jahannam and the fire of hell and the punishment of the Akhirah, she would give her son Nasiha and she would say to her son, Oh my son, ittakullah, fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, stay, stay well away from this thing, al khamru jumail ithm. This is the mother of all evils, Ummul Khabayt, oh my son, rizsu min amali shaitan, is a filthy thing, is from the handicraft and works of the shaitan. Fajtanibu la'allakum tuflihun, oh my son, if you want success, if you want to go to paradise, then don't even go near this. Oh my son, do you not realize this? Uh, the shaitan through this, you read, and you saddakum min dhikri Allah wa anis salah, that the shaitan through this wants to stop you from the dhikr of Allah and wants to stop you from prayer. When she would give her son the seer in this manner, you know what he would do? He would turn around to his son and a mom and say, Oh mom, stop he hoeing like a donkey. He would say to his mom, Stop he hoeing like a donkey. You know what? The exact same thing happens today. The exact same thing happens today. This particular individual used these words. My friends, we use words which are right in this day and age, which are no different to the words that he used. What do youngsters turn around to their mother and father? When their mother and father are saving them from Jahannam and the fire of hell, and they're giving them nasiha, what do their sons turn around to their mother and father and say? Oh mother, Get off my back, give, you're always breathing down upon me. You don't, give me you, know, you don't give me a chance to breathe. You're always coming on top of me. Give me chance to breathe, give me my own space, give me my freedom, stay out of my life. This is what the youngsters utter today. My friends, there is no difference between this and what that individual uttered at that time. Those words were rife at that time, these words are rife at this time. Remember? After Asr, that young individual died. And after Asr, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala punished him in such a manner that his head is turned into a donkey. He is the one that comes out of the grave and he holds like a donkey. This hadith was related in front of a master of a hadith. Not one single master rejected or questioned it. نور على مر الزمان تألقا وأضاء للدنيا طريقا مشرقا وهدى من الرحمن يهدينا به للصالحات وللمكارم والتقى